Okay, now that I have um, recorded my voice note, I'm simply going to uh, connect my iPhone to my computer and my iPhone is going to sync automatically. So um, when it does that, it's going to pull up iTunes and we should see that coming up. Okay, now once my iPhone's done syncing, I'm going to go to my music library and I'm going to make sure I've uh, categorized my song list by album and I've scrolled down to where I found my voice memos and so I'm going to need to find the one that uh, I just did and let's see that's February 23rd so I have to scroll down a little bit and see if I can find it that's it right there so what I'll need to do is I'm going to right click and select show in finder and here I have my file and it's a uh, it's a long uh, numerical name and it's in an M4A file format which is a file format that iTunes is going to read so I'm going to simply take that and I'm going to drag it and copy it to my desktop and I'll come out here on my desktop and find it there we are now the next thing I need to do is I need to convert this into an MP3 and to do that I'm going to use my Adobe Media Encoder and there it is. So I'll just simply pull up this and import my M4A file into it. Alright, now I'm going to add my M4A, open that up, and I'm going to choose a different format. I want to convert that to an MP3. And let me just have a look at my settings here. Let's see, just right. I'm going to leave all my default settings as they are and hit start queue. So the software is going out and it's turning that M4A file into an MP3. Looks like we got a little green check. So we'll jump back out here to the desktop and there is my file. Now I think I want to name it something different. I don't want that space in there anyway. So I'm going to just rename this to Audio File WordPress. And there I go. So now I'll come back over to my WordPress site. Okay, now the next thing I need to do is I need to make sure that I have a plugin that will place the audio player into my WordPress blog post. So I'm going to go over to plugins and let's cancel and save this as a draft. Great, now let me navigate over to my plugins. And I have a plugin called Audio Player. Now, if I didn't have this and I wanted to go out and find it, uh, that's pretty simple to do. I'd simply go Add New, and I would come down here and make sure I'm searching for the term Audio Player, and search for plugins. I'm going to get all kinds of audio players, and uh, the one that I like is this one that's right up here first and I can click on details and we can just have a quick look at some information about it uh, the installation um, frequently asked questions it's actually really going to direct me over to the uh, the audio player plugin site which I've got up right here and uh, it's pretty cool this is going to be what it looks like it's going to put a player like this on the blog post that will go zoom in and out and play. It gives you a lot of configuration options so that you can match the color scheme of your WordPress template. But um, this is the particular audio player. And um, if I didn't have it already, I'd just select Install Now and WordPress will install it automatically. As it is, I have it and it is all ready to go. Just double check my settings here and um, I've got it pretty much set to the default settings. Um, I can verify that the audio folder is uh, is there and um, if you want to you can go in and play with uh, your different settings and learn a little bit more about it. So we'll go back over to the My Posts and pull up the one that I was working on. So now we'll pick where we want the 
audio player to be and go click on our little add audio icon up here the little one that looks like a, a musical note we see our max upload file size is 10 megabytes and we'll select our file let's see our file here is 4.7 meg so we'll open that up and WordPress will upload that audio file take just a few seconds to do alright so now I can um, call this whatever title I want and I'll call it how to turn an iPhone voice note into an mp3 and put it in a blog post and I'm going to select audio player right here again this is important because this is what's going to enter this um, particular string into the blog post that actually allows the audio player to function so we'll select audio player and insert into post and so now we have it here I'll simply save the draft and then come out here and hit preview and here you have my post and here is the audio player adding audio can do a lot to enhance the quality of your so there we go looks sharp and that is how we take an iPhone voice note turn it into an mp3 and embed it on your WordPress blog